Hey everyone, Vicarious Viking here. Welcome to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth mod show. The mod that we're going to be taking a look at in this video is the playable Northern Lion mod by Travus, and this of course takes the likeness of everybody's favorite Binding of Isaac YouTube Let's Player, Northern Lion, and plasters it right over Isaac's face in all its pixelated glory. This is strictly a cosmetic overhaul mod, so it doesn't add Northern Lion to the lineup of existing characters. Unfortunately, I don't think that functionality is possible with modding yet. Rather, this mod simply replaces Isaac's face sprite with one that is highly reminiscent of Mr. Northern Lion himself and of course here in the menu screen replaces Isaac with Northern Lion as you can see all of the stats are the exact same as Isaac's base stats uh, it essentially is Isaac it just looks you know, kind of like Northern Lion right now. And if you would have unlocked the D6, you would start with the D6 as well. I don't have it unlocked, so I'm not going to start with it. But rest assured, if you did, you would in fact start with it. All right, here it is. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, I think this is Travus's first attempt at pixel art and modding in general, as far as I know. And I'd say he's off to a great start. I mean, the pixel art is really nice. It really captures that Northern Lion caricature with the cocked eyebrows and the thick black rim glasses. Uh, I quite like it. Standard Isaac Protocol is still in effect here. So the more items you pick up that alter your face or the way you look, um, remote detonator is not one of those items, but the more that you pick up that like change the way that you look, uh, the more grotesque and twisted you become until you resemble probably um, something that looks nothing like Northern Lion whatsoever, let alone uh, anything that should probably be moving around at all. Uh, there is actually something in the mod, um, like an option to disable uh, the face getting overridden by anything that would override the face, say Ipecac or Brimstone or stuff like that, so that you can kind of preserve the Northern Lion face for your playthrough. Uh, and there's instructions for how to do that in the mods uh, readme file. I'm not going to cover it here, but if you are interested in doing that, um, you can certainly check out the readme. There's also something, instructions on how to make it so that Isaac starts with 2020 as opposed to the D6. 2020, of course, being the item that lets you shoot two tiers at once. Uh, it's actually a really powerful item, and uh, I'm not going to show you that either. Um, so if you want to know, all right, I got it. Press the trigger to use the detonator. If you want to know how to make him start with 2020 instead of the D6, you can check out the readme file for that as well. I'm going to leave a link to download this mod in the description, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. It just kind of replaces Isaac's face with Northern's Northern Lions. In the future, I'd obviously like to see some like you know NL themed items, like maybe something that spawns you know one of his cats is a familiar like every other room tomo tomo and ruka um i'm sure there's better you know ideas you guys can come up with on your own uh unfortunately adding stuff into the game like i said isn't actually possible yet until they can actually mod the exe file in the meantime though this nice cosmetic over overhaul is uh is quite nice and also i'll show you another thing here the splash screen shows northern line down in the bottom left and uh the floor transition screen uh shows that as well so uh that's that's actually all there is to this video. Let's uh, let's destroy this guy in a giant onslaught of bombs because we can. Come on, let's get him covered. Here we go. All right, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. If you guys want to know how to install it, I will show you at least how to install it without the optional stuff like adding 2020 or making it so that his face can't get overridden. But I will show you how to just do the basic install. And if you want to see how to do that, just stay tuned because I'm gonna do it right about now. So installation of this mod is actually really easy. You're going to click the link in the description. It's gonna take you to this page here. You're gonna see northernline.zip. Just click on download. It's gonna ask you to create a Dropbox account. You don't actually have to do that though if you don't have one. If you do, you're free to sign in or if you wanna make one, you're free to make one. But uh, what you can do, just click on no thanks, just download the file and that will just download the file. So I'm going to go ahead and drag mine right here down to the desktop and then uh, open it up. We're actually all done with this. We can get rid of that. And this is what happens when we open up the zip file. You're going to see these folders and files and uh, double shot instead of D6. This refers to if you want to replace uh, Isaac starting with the D6 with the double shot instead. Um, like I said, I'm not going to cover that. Likewise, I'm not going to cover making it so that his face doesn't get overridden. But like I said, you can check the readme. And just to show you real quick, uh, the readme is really short. So actually making those changes is not too much work. Installation also is very easy. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Binding of Isaac directory in our Steam folder. This is obviously for Windows 7. And we're going to find our Steam install directory. This is just the default Steam install directory. So you, you want to go to C drive. Program Files, scroll down, find Steam, Steam Apps right here, Common, and then you want to find the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. You want to double click on Resources, and normally you wouldn't see this GFX folder here. Uh, I have it because I already have a mod installed. Um, so what you would do is you would just drag this GFX over here, 
and release it over here and it would actually just add the folder with all of the required files and then you would have your northern line mod for me it's just asking me this one extra step because i had a pre-existing gfx folder it's just asking me if i want to merge uh, the files that are already in this folder with the ones that are coming from the mod i clicked on yes that's it the mod is installed so that's all there is to it like i said if you want to know how to replace the d6 with double shot or make it so that isaac or excuse me northern lion's face doesn't get overwritten uh just check the readme it'll only take you like a minute it's pretty straightforward so that's going to do it for this episode guys i hope you liked it if you did leave a like and to see more mod showcases and other rebirth stuff you can check out my channel you guys have a great day my name's vicarious viking and i will see you later